A long time ago in Tullach, there was a family called, not surprisingly, Grant. And the chief of the family was called Alan Grant, and his son was also called Alan, and the daughter was called Isabel. Isabel was beautiful. She was one of the most beautiful women that anybody could ever remember seeing, but she was considered to be very dangerous. When she was born, a strange thing happened. All the guns in the house went off at exactly the same time. And this was taken to be a very bad omen. The midwife in particular thought that the baby should be smothered at birth. And she said to the mother, if you allow this girl to live, she's going to be accompanied by blood and terror for all of her life. Despite all this, she blossomed as she grew into a beautiful young woman. And she was a great magnet for all the young men round about and never lacked for suitors or admirers. Her parents wanted her to marry one of the neighbours, a Robertson, but she had eyes only for a young man called Ian McGregor. Now, the McGregors were outlaws and this was considered to be a very bad match and of course her parents forbid it. And the more they forbid it, the more that Ian and Isabel met in secret. Her brother was very protective and he knew about these secret assignations and he was determined to put a stop to it. So he gathered together a gang of seven men and they ambushed Ian on the road one day now Ian was pretty handy with a dirk and with his fists and with a sword and he managed to hold them off and made his escape to a barn where he hid. Now Alan went back home and was discussing with his henchmen how they were going to get Ian out of the barn and Isabel overheard what they were saying and she made her way there and told them what they were planning. She took a musket with her and he was armed with his dirk and his claymore and stood at the door of the barn waiting for Alan and the men to come at him, which they did. He held them off. She loaded and reloaded the musket, firing haphazardly at anything that moved. And she handed Ian the musket and said, the one in the red waistcoat, him, kill him. So Ian fired at the man in the red waistcoat as he made a run at the door, point blank, right in the midriff, and he fell down dead. And of course, this was her brother, Alan. Over his body, Ian danced a dance, the reel of Tullach. I was determined to go off and celebrate that night, but she said to him, wait a while, let's stay in the barn a while. So they did stay in that barn for an hour or two before they went off to the inn in Rivone and spent the night dancing and drinking, celebrating with songs. By this time, of course, Ian really was an outlaw and the Grants were determined to chase him down. Chase him down they did, and finally caught him at black boats on the banks of the Spey. And they killed him and beheaded him, and sent the head to Isabel, who was locked in a room in her house. She was pregnant by this time, and when she saw the head of her murdered lover, she died of a broken heart, and the two of them were buried together. So that's just some of Strasbe's stories. 
curras and kelpies, muskets and mayhem, buried treasure and battles, and wizards of the black arts. There are, of course, many more stories to tell. Goodbye. <laughs>